I'm Keith Alexander from Artisancam. Artisancam is a free educational resource aimed at teachers and young people in the UK which highlights creative role models, visual artists um, from across the UK who uh, we feel have inspiring stories that young people should know about and we cover their activities in video and in interactive activities. What motivated you to develop this project? For example, who was the intended audience and who commissioned it? The intended audience was always Key Stage 2 and 3 and I was motivated by the fact that I'd been an artist who had worked with communities and young people and that I thought I understand, understood what teachers and young people wanted and I saw the web as an opportunity to give them a new resource. The project was commissioned originally by Culture Online, a part of the Department of Culture, Media and Sports in the UK and they funded us for three years and we were one of the first seven projects funded by Culture Online along with the uh, National Theatre, Kew Gardens, the V&A, so it's a fairly prestigious initiative and we are very pleased to be part of it. Can you describe the various stages of development of the project, beginning with the preparation? Uh, describe the material, software and equipment used within each stage. How long did it take to complete and how much did it cost? Artisan Cam is ongoing so it, it isn't really complete. We try and add a number of different artists per year and we're nowhere really near to a complete catalogue. Um, the initial costs were really to do with the feasibility studies that we needed to carry out. We carried out three feasibility studies to make sure that we were producing the right kind of content that teachers would use and that, that it would engage young people. Uh, in terms of the overheads, I mean, obviously broadcast quality, quality cameras and, and uh, editing software are the, are the most expensive things, but our partnership with Clio, Cumbria and Lancashire Education Online has uh, covered a lot of the hosting costs. Um, it's a difficult question to answer. How many people were involved in this project and what tasks did each person do? Initially when we started the project it was just me. I, uh, I was artisan cam in, in lots of ways and then um, as we were successful in gaining more and more funding um, I became the content director. We also have a project manager, uh, a part-time marketing manager, a freelance camera person who um, helps us when we're, when we're busy, she's behind this camera now, and um, uh, the, the lads at Notion23 who build the interactive activities and service the web. There's also support from, from, from Clio, you know, a number of people involved in, in, in Clio. So all in all Artisan Cam, although it might look like uh, a small production team, there are a number of other people who are involved who are absolutely vital. How and where did they learn the skills used in their specific task and to what extent was their involvement in the project part of their daily work? Most of the people involved in the project already had the skills that they needed. That's why we hired them, either as project managers or marketing managers or freelance camera people. The person who didn't have the skills was me. Um, I had an understanding of the visual arts and of the audience, but I had to learn uh, camera work and editing. Did you seek assistance outside your organisation and if so what did that involve and what did they contribute to the project? I don't think we have uh, sought assistance outside of the project enough. Um, we've tended to be very very self-contained and had our, have our own clear vision of how we wanted to do things. When we've looked for assistance outside of the project it's nearly always been to do with funding. How can your project be used in an educational way? Who's using it? When did they use it? And is it used regularly? Artisan Cam's used regularly by teachers in the UK and they've got a number of different ways of using the site. The main aim behind Artisan Cam is that you go from watching to doing. That's what we envisaged when we created the project. So teachers use um, the video sections of the site with, with um, with an interactive whiteboard and they can show the time lapse or techniques clips of the artists at work and then they can progress on to the classroom workshop section where they can have a go uh, themselves in a practical activity in the classroom or they can use the interactive acti activities uh, such as slip decorator or jewellery designer 
to reinforce the learning that way. When we've opened things like um, Slip Decorator and Super Action Comic Book Maker up to competitions, we get thousands of entries from all across the country. Jewelry designer, you thought that, oh, it's going to be a bit girly, but when you get onto it, it is really good. What was the most difficult part in making this project and what would you do differently next time? The most difficult part in doing any project is getting the funding. Um, we wanted Artisan Cam to be a free resource to schools. The, the, one of the main motivations behind Artisan Cam was when a part of one of the early feasibility studies I went into a school in the northeast of England and one, I think, in 69 pupils managed to name an artist who was alive. Um, they could name Van Gogh, they could name Picasso, but contemporary visual arts was just a different world, one they weren't part of. And so the whole reason behind Artisan Cam is to try and give young people creative role models. If you don't know there are people out there making a living out of the arts, why would you want to be one? And so we had loads of children who loved art but didn't have any role models. So it was very important that this was a free resource. Therefore it had to be publicly funded. Therefore the hardest bit is always going to be getting that public funding. And we still have that battle year on year on year. Anything you do differently or not? I don't think there is anything I'd do differently. Can you give us examples of other projects you've recently developed for education? Artisan Cam is our primary product. We work on it year in, year out. We're currently adding a section on children's book illustrator, Sarah Dyer, who's had a couple of books published for Bloomsbury. And in the autumn, we're hoping to do animation. And next year, we're looking to add more sections on painting. We, um, we have tried some pilot projects so for Artisan Cam um, to do with literacy and performing arts but at the moment the visual arts model is pretty effective and we just want to build the catalogue. What advice would you give to anyone who is considering entering a digital media project, project into the Medea Awards 2009? Do it. Absolutely do it. 100% go for it. The cross-section of projects that were nominated and shortlisted last year was so diverse, it was fantastic. Um, and just to see those other projects and the, and the level of the production skills and the amount of effort going in in different countries across Europe is, is awesome.